Welcome back everyone to Learning by Teaching We're in Statics and today we're going to do problem 9.59, okay? It says, locate the centroid X and Y of the shaded area. So, over here we have this figure where it's kind of like a square missing this triangular shape. Now, what we need to do is that we need to find where is the centroid of this area. Now, in order to find the X and the Y location, what we need to do is that we need to do first the summatory of the multiplication of our arbitrary x location times the area. And then we're going to divide all this by our summatory of our areas. Same thing we're going to do in the y location where the difference is that we're going to do the summatory of the multiplication of the y, our, our arbitrary y locations, times the area. Now. What are these arbitrary y and x locations? Well, let's say I choose this to be one of my figures. Then I know that the centroid of that specific area is going to be here at the middle, right? So our x location will be from this point to the zero line. So it will be like this. And the y location will be from our zero point all the way to that point, okay? The reason what we can do this is that we know the centroids of similar shapes like rectangles, triangles, circles, and just uh, basic figures like this. So, if we want to do this, what we first are we're going to do is that we're going to create a table, okay? And this table is going to start by defining how many of these figures we're going to have. So, something like this. After that, we'll find the area of each figure. Then we're going to say, hey, our centroid in the X location will be there. And then in the Y location. And then after we found this, what we can do is that we can multiply our centroid times the area. And also our other centroid location times the area. And we can apply it a summatory of these values at the end. So we're going to do the addition of all the areas and the addition of all the all these two multiplications, okay? So let's start by first defining how many figures we have in here. So the way that I like to work this problem is that I would like to have oops, this as my first object. So I'm gonna call it one. This other square to be my second object and then this triangle to be my third object. So I'm going to write them down in here. So we got figure one, figure two, and figure three. So let's start by working with figure one. So this rectangle, the big rectangle. Now, in order to find the area, well, we have to find the area of a rectangle, base time height, and in here we will have six multiplied by 12, okay? And this should give me an equal of 72 inches. Then we're going to specify where will be the centroid in the X location and also the Y location of this centroid for this simple figure. So since we know that this is a rectangle, it will be exactly in the middle from either the high and the middle of the base. So the base is equal to six, therefore the middle will be equal to three. So in the X location, we got three inches. In the Y location, we we'll realize that we have six inches up and six inches down. Therefore, the location will be at the zero mark of our Y axis. So we got zero inches. And then what we can do is that we're going to multiply X, our X location times the area. So we have three times 72, and that will be an equal of 216. And then our y location is in zero, then our multiplication will be equal to zero. Our second figure is this square, the small square, where it's six times six for the area. That will give me 36 inches. Then we will have the x location. Well, the x location, our point is something like here, so the x location goes to negative three inches. The y location will be something in here, which would also be equal to negative three inches. And then we can apply the multiplication. So we will have 36 times negative three for both of them. So we're going to get 
negative 180 these are inch square so inch square and negative 108 inch square last what we have is that we have this triangular shape and for this triangular shape the area is base time height the same as this square but we need to divide it by 2 because it's half of it so we'll end up with 18 inches the x location of this guy will be also negative uh, will be negative but for our triangular shape we know that the centroid should be placed one third from the biggest side and by the biggest side i mean this is the biggest side so in here this is the big side therefore we're going to count one third from this big side and since the total base is six one third of that is going to be two inches so we got negative two inches because we're going to the left and then for our y location the big side will be this one in here right from this triangle therefore from here going up will be one third well it's also six inches in this base therefore we're going to have positive two inches because we're going up in this case okay now what we can do is that we can do our multiplication of our locations times the area and we will end up for our x times a we will have negative 2 times 18 will be negative 36 and then for the y times a we will end up with positive 36 inches square now what we're missing is that we need to add these guys up so if we add 72 plus 36 plus 18 we should get an equal of so 72 plus 36 plus 18 it's equal to 126 inches and then the other summatory we need to do is this multiplication of these areas so we got positive 216 minus 108 minus 36 and this should be equal to okay so we got positive 216 minus 108 minus 36 should be equal to 72 inches square and then for our summatory in the y what will end up will be end up with a negative 72 inches square okay now that we have this we can plug this value and these two values way back up into our two equations that one and that one okay so let's just start with our x location our summatory in the x and a we got equal to 72 inches and we're going to divide it by the area which is 126 inches and this gives me an equal so x is an equal of 72 divided by 126 is an equal of 0 0.571 inches okay these guys are each square and for our y location well uh, the sum material was, was negative 72 inches square divided by the area which is 126 inches therefore for our y location we will end up with negative 0 0.571 inches okay so we found our centroid the x, x location the y location if you guys liked the video, please push the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.